Hello and welcome back to Football Manager Maniac and this is our Dodge Hamlet save where we'll be looking to take Dodge Hamlet from non-league to the Premier League. Um, we have gone through the season already. Um, let's just go straight into it. We're still in the Skybet Championship um, and we're currently full team. Uh, won five game, drawn one and lost six. Um, not bad this season, I must say. Um, we're not doing that bad. Uh, we do have some good players. Um, Coming in, but we're just looking at the schedule so you guys um, have a look. Uh, we started off the season really well um, with a 1 0 win over Blackpool and um, Blackburn, sorry. Um, then we're very unlucky. If we're looking at the games, um, we we're very unlucky to lose some of these games. Some of these games we were really um, winning and ended up then just capitulating. Um, then, obviously, as you can see, uh, we went through a bad spell where we went five games um, without a win and then. We managed to pick it up and we're picking up against the bigger teams. We beat um, Leeds 4-0, uh, West Brom 2-1, Norwich, um, we was winning and they ended up scoring um, to make it 1-1 and then obviously they scored in um, last minute. Um, but that's basically it. But let's go into the squad, guys. There are some new players coming in. Um, I'm just going to go through it through here. So we've brought this guy, Robbie Vance, Vance um, and um, he's a goalkeeper. Um, as you can see, it's not too bad. Um, so I have changed the colours a bit with the attributes. It just makes it a bit more easier for me. Um, but as you can see, for our keeper, it's not too bad. He's a three-star potential, five um, potential ability. Um, then we go into the next player, which is Brendan Cooper, who's another centre-back. Um, as you know already, we needed some centre-backs, so um, that's how it is. And... Again, not too bad stats. He can play as a defensive midfielder as well, um, as an anchor man. So that gives us a bit of options as well on that position. We also got another centre back, which is um, Tom Holmes. Again, very very good centre back. Um, if you look at actually his attributes, is not too bad. Uh, his mentals are quite good. Um, Headering, uh, jumping reach, etc., um, which is not bad. Then we go into a Max Broughton, which is on loan from QPR, another centre back. Um, again, not bad stats. Um, where, as you look at it like that, again, mainly plays for me as the defensive midfielder, deep line playmaker. And then we go into a, a Dominic Broly, who is an attacking midfield. No, he's a centre mid. I don't know why. He, Sorry, it's where I put him, sorry. He can play as a right back where he usually plays, usually plays for us. Um, mainly plays as a centre midfielder, but we play him on the right back position. Uh, we've got him on loan from Liverpool. Um, we go into the next one. We've got Craig Godwin. Again, it's not the best. Um, as soon as I got him, then I started realising that um, he wasn't that great. But he hasn't really played that much, but he's a squad player. And he's, got, and he's 32, so he's getting along. Um, we did um, go for Jake Vulkins again. We actually um, completed this deal. He was on a free, so um, we managed to get him in there. And again, not too bad as our left back. Uh, we go through it again. And we have Ryan Burke, who's on loan again, who's our left, another left back. Um, he hasn't actually been playing, to be honest with you. Um, and they're not really happy with that. Uh, but he's a two and a half star potential three. It's a good backup, I guess. Uh, we have quite a few loans, so it's quite difficult. Um, a genie, you know, already Jeff King is a new player that come in, but he's injured at the moment. He's our right left midfielder, potentially wanting to play him on the left attacking midfielder role. Um, who else do we have here? Yeah, we've got Lewis Kennedy, a centre midfielder from Chelsea. Brilliant stats if you look at that. Um, you know, um, he's actually been really good for us this season. He's only 20 as well. Um, not bad. And then after that, um, we've got Lee Ellis as well. He's from Man City, a centre midfielder again. <laughs> but again, in Vision 17, you know, that's just brilliant work rate. He plays a Mazzala as well. It's probably best to play as a Mazzala as he can actually tackle as well. Um, it's not too bad a decision. It's not bad as well. He could potentially probably play in that attacking mid role as well. That's something I'm going to definitely think about. Um, but he's plays, he's at Man City and he's a four-star potential five. 
Um, we're really trying to get these good players coming in as well. Um, as well, I brought in this striker, which is Sam Dolby. Um, again, I've been playing him as attacking midfielder role. Um, he's a free star potential four. And again, as you can realize, um, compared to the players we had before, they're actually better stats. Um, then we brought in two other strikers, one from Man United, and that is Adrian Roberts. Again, good stats. Hasn't been that great. He's only scored about two goals. Pre-season, he was killing it. But now, you know, the season started. It hasn't been too well, but he's injured as well. We've got a lot of injuries, and it's just un unbelievable that we have injuries. But he's a four-star um, current ability potential five. And Billy Mully, who's from Arsenal, and um, this is our striker. He scored most of our goals. It's funny, um, pre-season, he wasn't doing that good. He didn't score a goal in pre-season. Put him in, he started scoring goals. And he's a potential, he's a four-star potential five. And guys, um, that's it. And our next game is against Brighton. And um, it's going to be quite difficult. Let's just give them a bit of praise. Um, it's, um, and that's it. Uh, we have got rid of some players, obviously. You would know. Um, another thing as well, we have changed our formation. Um, I've now decided to play a 4-2-3-1. Um, we were playing defensive defensive midfielder, but I think this team is, is good enough now and they're too good to be playing a, um, a defensive midfielder role um, formation. And, and we started losing a lot, but since we've changed the formation, it hasn't been that bad. Um, hopefully we're going to be Brighton, but it's going to be a very difficult game. Um, no one will be expecting us to win this game, obviously. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, they seem to not have had a good start of the season, and I'm hopefully and I'm hoping that we'll be able to um, create an upset. But we'll see what happens. There are, are quite a few injuries to our key players, um, so I do have to mix it up, and hopefully um, we'll be fine. But let's just see how it goes. Um, so I think for this game, Dolby's obviously injured. I'm going to actually play Ellis on that role there. Um, and I want him to be a play, and I want him to be a playmaker. Um, then in the centre midfield, we are going to put in, should we put in Hajini? Um, yeah, I'm going to put Hajini in as a Mazala, um, then we've got so much injuries. It's, it's, it's really, I don't know how we're going to do it. Cunningham's back, um, so he can go back into the right-hand position. Whitfield is obviously injured. And um, we will just put in Goodwin for now. Um, it's going to be very difficult <laughs> on how we're going to do this, but um, there's not much we can do at the moment. Um, and we just got to see how this game pans out and hopefully we'll be able to win the game um, but you're asking a lot from Brighton who are obviously a Premier League team that came down and they've got some decent players they've got Lucas Moura oh wow they've got some real good players there but I guess I guess it's not gonna it's not gonna matter too much depending on how we play so Let's just go like that. And then we're just going to play with a cautious. And I'm just going to give them a shout. Tell them to get creative. Um, that's worked a lot when I've done a creative, get creative shout. Seems to have helped a bit. Um, but let's see how it goes. We are playing away and we're going to play a cautious uh, mentality. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to snatch something from this game. I'm hoping so, but... Most people won't be expecting us to to get something from this game. So Goss with a free kick and a great save. And it's another save by Vance. Vance is not... Oh, 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 oh. I did forget something. Actually, no. We are going to focus on that. Um, we don't want to pass into space, to be honest with you. That's fine. Let's play for set pieces. There's just one thing I wanted to do, which is here. We definitely want to pass to our fullbacks. And let's counter press. Let's not go wide. 
a bit too yeah that's all right and let's just see how that goes I know it's early to start it off but let's see right so so far it's all Brighton um, Brighton are um, Brighton are getting the goals in and we're getting a lot of yellow cards let's just encourage the boys hopefully that fires them up a bit and helps them out so far it's all been Brighton and luckily um, well we've had our first shot on target which is great um, Gross with the free kick we header it out common boys well done great header Ellis well done this is where we want the counter attacking now Cunningham with the ball now he's got players there to pass the ball to Coley oh what great football Hajini well done hey ref come on well, I'll cross that in. There you go. Oh, see, now this is where we've got to be careful because um, now Lucas Moura has the ball and he has plenty of space. Oh, my gosh. Nobody wants to tackle him. Gross with the ball. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Van saves us there. What a save. We had a chance there. We had a chance. Goodwin and Mully is very nervous. Not sure why. 28 minutes have gone and it hasn't been a bad game. Um, if we can go into half-time 0-0, um, that would be great. So Coley with the ball, plays Uri over to Cunningham. Cunningham has the ball, plays it to Higini, into Ellis. Well done, into Kennedy. This is good football from us. Uh, Cunningham has the ball, well done, plays it into Ellis. Ellis played the ball through. Ellis with the ball, he runs in, passes it into Vulcans. Vulcan crosses it and it's a poor cross. Oh, now Lucas Moura has the ball. That's still our ball there. Don't do anything silly. Holmes with the ball. Go on, pass the ball, Holmes. Well done to Kennedy. To Vulcans. Back to Kennedy. Kennedy has the ball into Ellis. Got Ellis, drive with it, man. Goodwin has the ball into Ellis, into Kennedy. This is good. This is not bad football. This is patient football that we have here. Mali playing as a as a as a centre forward, complete forward. Ellis with the ball, Cunningham. This is good football from us. Go on, play him in, play him in, play him in. There you go, Kennedy. Kennedy! Oh, Lewis Kennedy scores. Yes. What a goal. This is good patient football from us. And we've scored 1-0. We're just going to keep calm. We're, we're doing okay. Let's just soak up the pressure and see how we do. This is good football from us. But we do need to be careful. We've got three players on a yellow card. Um, have to, have to, have to do that because um, I'm not looking for anyone to get a yellow card to get sent off. Sorry, should I say? Oh no, Caracho with the ball, Ross with the ball. No, ah, Javier Gesto scores and it's one-one. Oh man, we were doing so great. We didn't last long to um, until we conceded a goal, and we've dropped five positions down. Um, we keep going. We keep going. I'm just going to encourage them. Keep on encourage them. Just keep going, guys. Um, we don't really deserve that. Goodwin is not having the best of games, playing a 6.6. .6. A genie, Vulcans is not having the best of games, and Crowley as well. Oh gosh, corner. Ah, and it's a goal. Come on, guys. 2 1 to Brighton, and I don't think they deserve it. <sighs> just before half time, you'd never want to concede just before half time. Demand more. Mm. Right, we definitely have to make. Substitution here. Hegini needs to come off. Um, we don't even. Do I do this? It's playing a 6.4. We don't have a left back in there. I should have really put in a left back. Hegini is not having the best of games. We're going to have to change that up. It's unfortunate. Vulcans have. 
All right, so I'm definitely going to make that substitution now. Um, what I am going to do, I think we have a center back there because I don't think Vulcans is going to do anything. So I'm going to put Vulcans for Goodwin, um, take Vulcans on, and then we're going to put it on Sarkic there. <clears throat> and let's just see how that goes. Um, Vulcans hasn't been playing good, so, you know, <clears throat> I'm hopefully, hopefully that will change. And he's on a yellow card as well, so we have to be careful. Um, <sighs> right, and with the throw, Goodwin heads it. Well done to Ellis. Can we have our striker there? Where's our striker? Come on, you should be there. You know you should be there. Brighton with the ball. Kunnemans with the ball. Come on, boys. You're meant to be countering them now. Uh, Caraccio with the ball. But they've got great players. I can't really complain, can you, with the players that they have. Um, let's try and get creative. Let's get creative, boys. Yeah, let's get creative. We might just make one substitution and, and I think that's going to be a right back. Right back. And we're going to put our youngster Edwards in. And hopefully <clears throat> that's our last substitution we've done now. Uh, 55 minutes have gone. Oh no. Get rid of the ball. Well done, Feeney. Well, that wasn't Feeney. That was Kennedy. Uh, but we still got it with them with Kenny. Lucas Moura with the ball. Come on, boys. Oh, I can see another goal. Oh, I can see another goal coming. Oh, what a save. Vance has really kept us in this game. Um, and if it wasn't for him, we could definitely have been a lot more goals down. Oh, where's that ball? We need to turn him to tighten up. But we haven't really had much chances so far. Um, we're probably going to go for it soon. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of time and then we're going to actually go for it. Um, hopefully they don't score from this. Um, let's give them a shout because it's not allowing us to do it so far. Um, I don't know why Kennedy's frustrated. Oh, Ellis with the free kick plays it into the box. We header it in. Oh no, I thought that was in. Right, let's tell them to concentrate now. Uh, we're we're going to go for it now. Um, why not? Why not go for it? Well done. Goss with the ball. Goss plays a long ball over. Oh no, and it wasn't really the best thing to do. Uh, Lucas Moraes with the ball. He's a very quick player. Kennedy heads the ball in and it's over. We need to be careful here. Come on, boys. Um, what can we do? Actually, I was going to try something, but we'll leave it. Feeney with the ball. It's a long ball over. Okay. Back to the keeper. Come on, get the ball off them. Get the ball off them. Come on, tackle them. Tackle. Don't let him run. And that's it. Garasco with the ball. To Van. We haven't been that bad, if you actually think about it. We actually haven't been that bad. Okay, now it's game over now. 3-1. Not looking like we're going to get back to this game now. So let's... Hmm. Right, Feeney with the ball, and that's it. It's unfortunate, but I guess that's just how it is. I think we haven't been that bad, to be honest. But Brighton's um, quality showed, I guess. They've got some good players, so... 
you know, can't really expect much from the boys. Um, they tried and they didn't, we didn't, we couldn't do it. So, uh, unlucky, it's very unlucky, but it's nothing we can do. It's 81 minutes have gone and it's 3-1 to Brighton. We're giving them a good game, I believe. I don't think they've come here thinking that they can smash us. So we've done what we needed to do and try and match them, but it just wasn't meant to be. Um, and that's it. Edwards has come in and is playing a 6.4. Goss has come in and played a 6.4. Um, not really great. Changes didn't really have much. Goss with the corner gets headed out. And Ellis seems like he didn't, he wasn't bothered to get the ball there. Um, which is never good. We definitely need, again, it's just looking at that, that full back position. It's just really hitting me. The full back position is really, really bad. I really need to get, um, really need to invest in a, in a full back. Yes, we've got Vulcans, but he's a bit iffy, man. He's very, very suspect. He is. Um, and then obviously you have, um, Coley, he's fair enough. He's not a right back. He's not really a right back. So I guess I can't complain. But, you know, so I can say, can we get another goal? Can we get one more goal just to close it down a bit? Ugh, no. It's unlucky. they saying they deserved it. Yes, I know, 20 shots, 10 on target. But I, I think we gave them a good game. So I'm going to sympathise them. I'm not going to... It was a good effort, to be honest with you. I'm not going to be harsh on them. Um, but that does leave us um, going down the table. We started up 14th. We may have just dropped just one position, actually. Um, let's have a look. It just depends on the team that's around us. Um, it would have been nice to get a victory, but I guess that didn't happen. Let's just have a look and see uh, where that leaves us in the table. Um, let's go straight into it. So we've dropped only one place. Um, again, a win drop takes us all the way to eighth. Well, round about eighth. Probably takes us about twelfth, um, depending on the teams around us. This is not. This is better than what we had before. We are a few points away from from relegation. So I don't see really. Um, but and again, this is the guy that we wanted from Southampton, and he's. He's scoring goals. Fortunately, we couldn't get him. He wanted to go to Leeds. Fair enough. Um, but we need a right back. That is for sure. We need a right back. But again, thank you for watching. This is Football Manager Maniac. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you and bye.